The onions in there are really good. Yeah. How yeah. many Ta- onions? You put you put too, too many onions in? No, no, just enough onions. Enough, <laughs> enough balance I'm, don't onions put it too much. Don't don't put up too much onions. <laughs> Oh, an aristocrat. Three small engines. <laughs> hey, welcome to a very special edition of the iFanboy comic book discussion show. My name is Ron Richards, and we're here in lovely suburbs of Long Island celebrating the summer. It's hey, Fourth of July is coming up. Yes, in a couple you days. Could, so you can turn this off and watch it in a few days. Yes. If that makes you feel better. You know, this was our annual. Well, let's introduce ourselves. You're Ron, Ron Richards. I'm Josh. I'm Connor Kilpatrick. Our, we used to do this every year. We missed it last year. We were busy we last missed year. One year. We missed one year. One year. We missed one year. We missed one year. Timing didn't work out, but this is our annual summer tradition. We'd answer some emails, we cook some food, yep. we celebrate the summertime. So we need to it's start. Fun. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. It's Long a, Island is good. It's to a us. little bit different than the past. In the past, we it's been super hot. Yes, at one, least this is mild. One year it was 110 at the grill. Do you remember that year? We almost all passed out. I do you remember that year? It's about Life 65 scars. degrees. It's nice. Yeah, yeah this is nice. We're ca- it's casual. It's, it's a nice day. So let's uh, talk about the food before we get to the emails. What we got? What do we have going? So we're starting. We're starting with some old standbys. You know, like I said, we're here on Long Island, so we're going. You got to do. You got to do the sausage. We got a little, some little Italian sauce, sweet sausage with some fennel, some basil in there uh, from our good friends at Premio. So uh, I'm gonna throw that right on there. It's one of our standbys. It's one of our standbys. In the kitchen, I got some uh, red and green peppers and uh, and a sweet onion, uh, kind of sautéing in there, and olive oil for the so, uh, aftermath. For the aftermath. So when this is cooked, some Italian bread, some peppers and onions, sausage. Life is good. It sounds very good. I'm gonna throw this right on. Yeah. <laughs> so Josh, what do we have over here? Uh, this is the this is the standby the chicken wings, I guess. Yeah, honey barbecue, honey barbecue chicken wings. Honey so. barbecue. And we, we just gotta get these going because these take the longest, and if you don't cook them, they kill you. Yeah. Anything else we gonna put on the grill now, or, we, or are we gonna wait? We have some more things over here you can't see off camera. Let's see how much space we use up. All right. So what do we? We, we Ron, have a burner what, down. Ron, just some honey barbecue on the uh, yeah, just wings. Yeah, just some, some some honey barbecue sauce, and you know. Um, Put the wings in the oh. bowl. Put the honey barbecue sauce in it. Get already. Let it, yeah. Let it sit in the um, let it sit in the fridge for a little while to kind of marinate. You know what we should have done? What sugar? We should have seasoned this grill with some oil beforehand. Yeah, I thought about that as I put the sauces on it. It stick. That was uh, yeah. That was a, a, a crucial mistake. That's a rookie mistake. People. Every year, there's something different. Shall, do we want to pause and do that's, that? That's because we have too late now. We've, they're already on there. Uh, we, we have used a different grill every time we've done this show. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. never tw- the same grill twice. So Because basically, once we're done with the grill, we then destroy it. <laughs> yeah, and so the home that it resided at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. So. All right, so while this is going on, let's jump into our first email. Ready, guys? All right, let's do it. The first email is from Joshua from Boys Ranch, Texas. And Boys Ranch? Boys Ranch. Help me out here. Just move that little thing there. I'm going to take that bowl off from you. No, we're good. We're good. We're okay. Honest. We're good. Josh from Boys Ranch, Texas says, I've been watching Young Justice in the Cartoon Network, and I'm loving it. It got me to thinking about almost all the main characters in the DCU have or have had sidekicks, while very few of Marvel's have a, heroes adopt a sidekick. So my question to you is this. There's actually three of them. Do you guys like sidekicks in comics? Why is Marvel anti-sidekick? And what do you think about Young Justice, the cartoon? Uh, so let's answer the last question first. Okay, I'm the only one that's watched Young Justice. Yeah, I don't right? watch cartoons. It's right. a great cartoon. It's a really, yeah, it's a really strong it. yeah. um, take on the Justice, on the Young Justice, which is really the Teen Titans. It's the original Teen Titans. Yeah. Everyone's in it. Uh, like, it's the whole Justice League is like a supporting cast. It's, there's like hundreds of characters. It's a really is it awesome. show. Is it really? Is it his show? No, it's not? in fact the leader of the team is Aqualad. Um, the team is Aqualad, Robin, Superboy, and Miss Martian, and. And uh, a character whose name is not really known. It's a mystery character. It's not really Artemis. But what do they call and him? Arsenal. Uh, they call her Artemis, I think, but she's oh. not really the artist in the comics. Right. Speedy? Speedy uh, was in the first episode, and he quit in a huff. To go do heroin. Yeah, John. Yeah. What's neat about the cartoon, though, is that the comic actually exists yes. in continuity with the cartoon. Yeah. Um, Mike Norton draws it. Mike Norton's been drawing it. and, uh, and Art It's Franco, it's Franco right? yeah. yeah. Um, Art Balthazar and Franco have been writing, have been writing it, and it fits. They're working with the cartoon producers to make it fit in so between episodes. So if you want more of the cartoon, yeah. that's yeah. the other way to cool. go. But it's a great, it's a great cartoon. Yeah. So I don't think Marvel has anything against sidekicks. Bucky. Yeah, Cap and Bucky, Cap and Falcon, Cap. And, Cap always. Seems Falcon's like a, a partner. He's not a sidekick. Well, that, yeah. well that's a. Yeah, I mean, like, like, what is a sidekick? Does a sidekick have to sidekick's be? Sidekick's usually like a teen met, a mentor scenario. Yeah, usually, yeah. It just feels like D- when DC did it, like, when that sort of came up in the 50s and 60s, that was just the thing to do. But that's, that's kind of a definition that, of a sidekick. They even, even now, they're still the, the sidekick's usually they the younger mentor. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's just their, I guess their, like, legacy yeah. of doing the way, things that way. It's just that that's how DC did it and Marvel kind of didn't, I guess. But it's not like, it's, I, don't, I don't think you could, it'd be really hard to introduce a character now and be like, and here's this teen sidekick. Like it, it kind of works in legacy characters, 
but I don't know if it would work with new characters. Invincible. They kind of did it with Invincible, Invincible. Yeah. but it's a, that's, it, that's even a little tongue in cheek. I mean, like yeah. he's named Oliver. He's named after the kid who ruined the Brady Bunch. You know, like yeah. it's the idea that like he's playing with the conventions of it. But right. if you were doing a real new superhero book, I don't feel like, I don't feel like you'd do I it. Feels of also Marvel, uh, except for the X Men, never really had young heroes. Heroes. They were They're always adults. men. And when they and did, women, they stuck and, together. Yeah, yeah. So you know, so there was no real camaraderie in that way and the mentorship it's interesting it's one of those subtle things I mean and DC did it because it was the 60s and they wanted to pull kids into it and yeah. it made sense you know like, yeah. and it worked um, it's just one of those things that just didn't you know Marvel, that, Marvel never took to it so I is, really, it's is really Bucky the only like side true blue, true blue uh, Marvel type uh, Toro mm. Toro no, but Toro. it's the golden age I mean, well so is Batman and Robin yeah. so yeah. like it starts then right. and, and you know I'm thinking modern though modern times that's before Marvel I mean, it's mainly all teams like the new warriors were teenagers the new mutants were teenagers and none of them were away. young Avengers yeah. none of them are high kicks they're just heroes right yeah they're just yeah yeah but they kind of work like sidekicks that don't you know, like they were like it's the idea of the sidekick, but without having to be a team. So Marvel together. is anti sidekick. I think they are. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. they're anti mentorship programs. Yeah, they don't. Well, they want you to learn on your own. They probably hate big down. brothers, big sisters. Yeah, they probably do. And so do, in the four H club. So do we Marvel like? Do we like sidekicks? I mean, if it, it, like anything, if it's done right, then it's fine. I don't I, care. Know. Yeah, I don't. Like care. I don't yeah. think about it. It's not. Yeah. If you want to do it and it's a good story, I'm fine. But I don't. I, I'm You've not like, against the idea. You're not an anti sidekick. Hmm. You're not anti sidekick. I'm not. Where do you stand on the sidekick issue? Are you anti-dentite? Are you a, si- are you a side kicker? <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like this could go against my political political records. So, uh. <laughs> no, sidekicks are fine. They're fine. I, I like the idea of the leg- legacy character mentorship thing. I want to protect sidekickism. Hey, you know what? It worked for me as a kid. I, I always bought comics that had Robin on the cover. I thought you were say it worked for you. <laughs> like my men- my mentor was great. <laughs> Took me to play basketball. So you, you can yeah, you're a big dick guy. I mean, like, Dick Grayson. I mean, not yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you're a big Robin Nightwing. Yeah, yeah, but I, When I was a kid, years, I'd go yeah. through the back issues, and I would find yeah. the covers with Robin on it, because I knew Robin would be in the story, supposedly. You're never going to find a dude who say you're a big dick guy, and they're going to then deny it. <laughs> nah. Scott, next email, Scott from Florida. Scott says, I've gone almost cl- completely to reading my comics in trade paperback format, but there is still one kind of individual comic I'm still interested in collecting, the milestone issue, like the recent Superman 700, Wonder Woman 600, Action Comics 900, etc., since you started reading comics, what have been your, some, some of your favorite milestone issues? Ooh, good question. Um, this is hot. My face hurts. <laughs> so. Do we want anything else to add to the grill or are we good? I think we're good for now. Kind okay. of out of space. You can... Also, we should point out that one of the grills is not working, so that's why we're yeah. not using well, the one that, that's Man burner. down. Yeah. Man down. down. Um, so, milestone issues, I mean... It's you, always a big anniversary. Of a collector, I don't so notice don't the care. numbers, yeah. so like it doesn't... Um, this is, I think it's more of a younger days kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I never really... Okay, because I still looked at it like like milestone issues, like the back issues that I chased after. Mm-hmm. Like I, no, I wanted like, to get no, in the email specifically, five hundred, seven hundred, six hundred, nine hundred, the big issues. Oh, okay. Okay. I do remember the cap. Uh, what was it? Remember the one where he's in the nineties, where he's standing, and the uh, I forget what number it was, and there was a gold cover reprint of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it might have been two hundred or three hundred. I see, forget what issue it was. See, what I like about them is, oh, and traditionally it was like a time for them to stop. Get a lot of all star creators together and they yeah. do a bunch of short stories, mm-hmm. which like the back of 900, action 900, not yeah. the first well, yeah, part. Yeah, that's why they're always, they were always oversized yeah. and big what collections. Was, what was the, the recent Ultimate Spider Man? Was it 150? 150. Yeah, 150. That, yeah. Was great, that, was that was a great, that was a great one. They had yeah. uh, Scotty Young and Sarah Pichelli and, and David LaFuente and, and Jamie. Jamie and, and yep. the one other one, and I can't remember the other artist. Joel Jones. Yes, Joel, Joel Jones. Jones. Yeah. Uh, that was actually a really good recent one uh, that, that worked out really well. You know, a lot of times, um, it's relatively recent, a lot of times, you know, they make a big deal out of it, but it ends up being kind of disappointing. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the Super Action Comics 900 was sort of half and half. Some of it was well, really they don't, great. Well, they don't really fit in anymore because in the old days, like I said, they would stop and yeah. do short stories. Now they have to keep the train rolling. Right. Those sticks are burning. Yeah, that's, that, that'll happen with the kebabs. So Ron, f- close, uh, and he's got it. Didn't lose it. This is too hot. Um, but they're, they're sort of not the same anymore. No. Because they have to keep that train rolling. They don't stop the story but anymore. But they're still going to take every time there's like... It'll like, be a big It used story. to be like, this is the 35th anniversary. This is this, you know, like any number that seems to be a rounded zero or a five at the end, if they can do something with it, it'll be like, it's our big special 75th issue. They can make yeah. it double size and yeah. more expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I remember ones a lot more than those. No, let's stick. I mean, I remember X Men two hundred was, but that wasn't like a. I mean, they didn't they didn't do that bonus like. But that was the trial of Magneto episode, mm-hmm. and it was like it was double sized, and it was a big deal. Um, I'm trying to think of the other. Yeah, look, look like, like uh, with like in- Invincible and in Walking no. Dead again. Like they went back like seventy five those issues because they're sort of counting in twenty five issue right. increments. Those were like the big issues, and and both of those were really good. Like Walking Dead seventy five was the one where that's where he said he's gonna stop it. The aliens. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's with the with the Otley segment at the end. So that yeah. was like a fun one. 
I do have answers. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah. So now, uh, food update time. How is the how are the wings looking? Well, they were not going fast enough, so I heated it up, and and that worked. Yeah, well, it worked a little bit. See, the th the, <laughs> the thing the thing with doing um, honey barbecue wings is that you're putting honey barbecue sauce on the on the chicken, and that's very sugary. Yeah. And that the honey barbecue sauce tends to burn off really quickly. Um, so what you end what you end up off, often wanting to do, you know, is add a little more barbecue sauce as you're doing it. You know, to keep keep the flavor going, but you also don't want it. You don't want the sauce to burn, so that's why you gotta monitor your heat. If I was doing, I'm not. I'm. This is not my dish. If I was doing it, I would season the the, the wings with like a rub of some kind, something dry, and then near the end of the cooking, then go with the barbecue sauce to get that well, that yeah. glaze yeah. thing going on. Yeah, they look good though. Yeah. Traditionally, we like to pull one off the grill, and eat one in the middle of the show. We'll we'll do that I later. Do that. It's hot. Well, maybe Josh will. We're not sure they're cooked fully either. <laughs> it's, it's only been a few minutes, so yeah. probably not cooked. So we're good. We don't need anything else. Just an update. We got a hot spot here. Yeah, we got, this is this is a very hot area. You want to add? Probably, we could probably go for the kebabs over here because I'm worried about the, or the steaks. I, Which you one you want? Sear, you want to sear beef over high heat and then move okay, it so, over. Okay, to so lower wait heat. Till the, so yes. let's get the kebabs over because we're Same. got a lot of food left, not a lot of show left. So all right. Which so we're good. Grab, grab whatever. Grab all whatever right, you want. Here's the steaks. Well, you want to sear them on a high heat, so you want to wait till it's. Uh, Joshua, you start putting the steaks on the grill. Yeah, while I'll do that. You read a question. These are two simple and I'm steaks. Try to pay attention. Uh, with some salt and pepper on them. Nothing too spectacular. What kind of cuts are they on? Do you remember? Sirloin. Okay, so just two small ones. The cheap stuff. Normally, we used to do big steaks in the show, but we just decided to diversify, so we did some small steaks. Also, we had big steaks last night yeah, for dinner. Yeah, still kind of full. So, <laughs> all right, Russ. Russ. Us. Russ writes in with a, with a long one, so this is good for the steaks. Russ says that the most recent issue of Green Lantern and Emerald Warriors, they actually, this is a contextual question, which is good. Okay. The most is recent issue of Green Lantern and Emerald Warriors, they actually gave a t real time flight estimate to Oa. 11 hours at subluminal speed. So that's just you. There, there we go. Yep. If that were you, would you sleep during the flight? 11 hours is a long time. Would your body cramp up after 11 hours in flight position? Space is cool and all, and I, but I would imagine after about 7 hours you'd get bored. If it were me, I'd make an I iPad construct with my, with my rain watches Mad Men. You could do anything. But wait a minute. But wait, 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 wait. Well, finish the question. It would be all green. So. Also, if the Flash used super speed to punch a dude, he'd probably kill him, right? But if he used super speed punches in a brick wall, would he drill right through it or turn his hands into ground beef? Speed force protects the hands. Yeah. Yes, that's, yeah. Is that, that's still the, well, the it's science. a vibration. It's a vi yeah. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Speed force protect is a protective barrier, so no. Yes, he would disintegrate another person if he punched them at super speed, yeah. unless that's he got so good at it that he could... Pull back, pull That's the thing with the Flash is you can't think about the powers too much because no, he, Flash instantly beats everybody once you start doing that. No, I mean like if, if every guy punches in the comics at super speed, he would he, they, their their face would be gone, but yeah. they can't do that in the comics. And he so. would create a sonic boom and destroy the house, you know, like the, the yeah. neighborhood. All right, so you're in, you're flying to Oa. It takes 11 hours at subluminal speed. Well, here's the problem. Okay, mm -hmm. so and I don't know much, uh, you know, I don't know much about the the, the lantern ring. Yeah. So I'm flying along. I, I sleep on planes. So I get a little drowsy, whatever. When you fall asleep, does the construct and the protection and then you ring suffocate? Protect, the ring protects you. When you're asleep. I think, yeah, I think uh, the ring isn't going to let anything happen to you because it knows your subconscious. It's reading you the whole time. So I think you can do like, it can, it's the most powerful Could you nap? But do you have willpower when you're sleeping? Will I think you can autopilot the ring. You can? You can think about it. Can you say take me to Oa? The ring. To Oa. The ring will, the, the ring will go and find a new lantern. So it's got... Some sort of autonomous capability. Some sort of sentience. So, and I think I'm I'm fairly certain that the idea is that the the, the ring protects the bearer, whether no matter what. Right. Like you can't go cut the ring off a, a dying uh, Green Lantern. I don't I don't think. Like it will. It has a defense. I feel like you're making this up. It. I know. I feel like I've okay. seen this. But it doesn't like. It doesn't matter. It's all made up. So what would you do? Eleven hours to lose so, Oa. Oh, what would you do? Uh, you're a plane sleeper. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you'd, you'd make a little pillow construct oh, bed. Yeah, no, like a little, yeah, bark a lounger. Yeah, totally. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he said he'd watch Mad Men, but would that mean that everything was tinted green? Yes. yes. Or could yes. you have like a? No, it'd be green. Green. Everything be green. Uh, you know, you could you little, create the Mad Men box set with the, with the ring? Theoretically, you can create anything you can you can think of. But you need, could you program the discs? But if you haven't seen them, how do you know what's on them? Right. Yeah. No, you can. Do, you can make the player, you but you have, player, you have to have the discs, discs with you. Discs with you. Well, but right. here's the thing: a little backpack, right? Yeah, a little yeah. backpack. And little then, backpack. and then, set up like an iPad holder. Yeah. And just just watch that for a while. Um, they should show them like a, a ride going with like fanny packs. Well, it's like that that Kyle Rayner thing where he drove through and he had a he had a, a big old you know coupe coupe uh, convertible. Right. I would do something like that. But would space get boring after 11 hours? Of course it would. But also, you, you know, a lot you can do with that ring. That's it's all true. I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. All right. Eric writes in. Eric says, in both the DC and Marvel universes, 
What hero would you put on the superhero Mount Rushmore? The oh, superhero. Easy. This is four, so we can pick four. Wait, so four. Four, uh, four for each universe or yeah, one for Marvel? One for DC, one for Marvel. Okay. All right. Superman, Batman, let's Wonder Woman. Let's do Marvel. All right, let's do DC. Flash. I mean... Green Lantern. Green Lantern or Flash is really your... But that's... Yeah. Well, which one? It's, so you got Superman, Batman, Wonder Lately? Woman. It's, I mean, you're it's talking Green from a marketing standpoint? It's Green Lantern. It's Green Lantern, it's Green Lantern. yeah. <laughs> you got to have the Trinity. Yeah. It's Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. And Green and, Lantern. Yeah. Now, but what about personally? Like, say that you're not doing it from a standpoint of what... A you're historical like, standpoint? Yeah. What's like, your you're, favorite? You're putting somebody on. Like, like you are a huge, long-time DC fan, like, what, what, what would be the inspirational mountain? I think Aquaman's on yours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, was, I would want to do it historically. Oh, I do. Wow. If I want to do it, I don't do it historically. I want to uh-huh. be like the important characters, not necessarily my favorite ones. And I think probably it's, it's Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and then it's Green Lantern. I think, right? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Flash started the Silver Age. <laughs> he did. I mean, there's a, there's a long. And he ended the, the he ended he ended, no. he ended the Should Silver Age too. Explain what I we're will doing when we we'll finish the question, oh, okay. then we'll we'll yeah. go right, over. Look it. At you going off script? Uh, he also ended the Silver Age. With, yeah. the, with the crisis He's death. also got yeah. one of the best costumes in the history of superheroes. He does. What about Psycho Pirate? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> All Psycho. All right, we're going to say, right, so, the DC one, we're going to say Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Flash. That's what we're going to say. Okay, I'll go with that. It's so now Marvel. Marvel, clearly it's Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, and, <laughs> and Ooh, the X-Men mountain. No, um, no so Marvel, it's got to be Captain America. Captain yeah. America. It's got to be Spider-Man. 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 It's got to be Wolverine. Reed. Wolverine. Yeah. And Reed Richards. Iron Man. I think Iron, Man, over Iron Man. I think Fantastic Four probably. Reed comes first. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The but in terms of marketing of... and stuff like that, I think Reed. that right now there's more juice with Iron Reed Man. Reed is George Washington. Well, it's yeah. comics sure. though. Yeah, in comics. In yeah. comics, not yeah. movies. Take that out yeah. of it. Reed Richards has more cachet than Iron Man right now. Yeah, yeah, Reed. Yeah. Uh, Thor, oh, oh, oh. Also, from a historical Thor. perspective, Thor. Thor. Historically, Thor. I don't think Thor goes on. Maybe the Fantastic is more important than Thor. Yeah. Well, Plus. Means- Wolverine is the uh, is the Theodore Roosevelt of that mountain. Yeah, yes, yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus, you're hitting all the families. You're getting yeah. you're getting Avengers, Fantastic Four, Spider Man, and, and and the X Men. Yeah, totally. Stories. Would it be Professor X over Wolverine? No, no. Professor X is a jerk. I heard that, <laughs> right? No, but also uh, Wolverine is more he's more the symbol of the X Men than mm-hmm. Professor X is. I, you keep going with this. Like, what if you just did uh, if you just did an X Men one? What would you do? So probably be Professor Xavier. Sure. Cyclops, Wolverine. That fourth spot. It's Magneto. Be Gene. No, it's got to be Gene or Storm. It's Gene. Yeah, it's Gene. It Magneto. Might be Storm. It might be Storm. Storm more of a model. Okay, I, I see yeah, what you I mean. Forge. Plus, plus diversity. Forge. No, not Forge. Forge would make the thing that made the thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, Forge would be pissed because we're using Indian territory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, oh, yeah. South Dakota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Dakota. One of. Oh, I don't even know. But what about a Vertigo one? Oh, it's, that's uh, that's great. Swamp Preacher. Thing, Constantine, uh, Morpheus, Custer. and and Jesse Custer. That's great. That was fun for me. <laughs> I really let's appreciate let's you bringing let's keep me doing in. This. Let's do an image one. Let's, all right. Uh, oh, this is good. We're gonna Spawn. Have Spawn, Savage Dragon, Rick, Rick, Rick Grimes. The, the new one. Yeah, Listen. yeah, yeah. Um, and who's the who's the fourth spot? Spawn, Savage Dragon, Rick Grimes, and somebody else. Somebody else from the new era. What's an ongoing John Chu? I mean, no. Uh, what's a newer? Uh, I mean, Rick is the newer one. Rick is the current. I mean, you want to go Walking Dead? That's the that's the current one. And, and then, Invincible is kind of the link between yeah, and Invincible. old and new. Yeah, and Invincible. Two Kirkmans. Yeah, two well, Kirkmans. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it's right. the man who who yeah. indie comics. Rick and... Cerebus. Kachu. Cerebus. Bone. Kachu. Kachu. Yeah. One of the, the Kachu of, of and uh, Mouse. <laughs> the main character from Mouth, like the Arts Beagle Man representative. This would be the silliest looking statue ever. <laughs> Lots of different styles um, going on there. Yeah. But what's uh, what I mean? What's an indie comic that, that eclipses that? Right, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. Dark Horse? Hell- Dark Horse, oh. no, Dark Horse, Hellboy. 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 Um, Marv. Marv. Um, Grendel? Could, you could do Grendel. Um, and then what else is going on big at, at Dark Horse? Probably do some Star Wars, like Qui Gon Jin. A Twi'lek. Yeah. Some random. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, no, the goon. Vader. The goon. The goon. The goon. The goon. The goon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do a Star Wars one. So wait, so, so wait. Hellboy. <laughs> we do this all day. Wait, Hellboy. Uh, Marv. Marv. The goon. Goon and. And um, oh, we had a fourth one, didn't we? Wait, I have to back up now. Grendel. Grendel. Yeah. Grendel. Right. yeah. yeah. I never read Grendel. Yeah, yeah well, but it was born in the nineties. All right. Star Wars. Next man. Star Wars, uh, good and evil, or, or across all the whole thing? 
What, what is there, I mean, is Empire there a Rebel? Rebellion? Or? Oh, the one Rebel, one Empire. Right, one. So, Meanwhile, so the food's the Rebels, I mean, it's Luke, Han, <laughs> Leia, Chewie, and, and Lando. Oh, no, not Leia. Leia, Leia, Leia. Yeah, Leia, yeah. What about Obi-Wan? No, no, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, no. I think you have to have Obi-Wan. He's uh, the Lisbon. He's, yeah. he's the key oh, to the whole What about 3PO? R2. No, no, they're tools. R2's, R2's. I know, yeah. Wrong. Luke, Han. He's, he's, anti-ro- he's anti-droid, I think. He would run that bar. Okay, now, yeah. there, what if there's like a like an Ewok fiend? No. <laughs> Wicket. Uh, How do you feel about this? Uh, so, Those uh, are real close, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now so it's Empire, for... it's Vader, Palpatine, and that's it. And Tark- Vader, Boba. Vader, pa- Oh, Tarkin, yeah, and Tarkin. Boba. And Boba. No, Boba Fett's a mercenary. Doesn't matter, he gets to be with them. He gets to be with them. Oh, you're on extended. Thrawn. Thrawn. Boba Fett doesn't get to be up on there. Boba so we're going to do a bounty hunter one. Wait, wait, wait. A bounty hunter one, then it's, what, well, you got Jabba? <laughs> yeah. Boba Fett. Ba- Boba Fett. Dengar. Uh, Dengar. Dengar. Oh, IG-88 over four lines. IG-88, yeah. IG-88 totally. is the scariest mother... <laughs> anyway, oh. Really? <laughs> Remember that game? Let's do a Jabba one. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> tell us about the... Tell, uh, <laughs> someone tell us about the kebabs All right, here. so for the kebabs, we did this, a really I... simple kebabs. If you ever want a really simple, fun, grill thing to do, um, just grab some... Uh, round, uh, beef chuck round, like round rump kind of, you know, like the cheap kind of meat. And uh, like Stop and Chop here on Long Island had them already cut into squares, so it's super easy. And take some onion, some peppers, some mushrooms, and just alternate. Put some onion. And what I like to do with the onions, and I don't know if we can cut away to zoom into it, but I do these blocks of onions um, so they're together. And when they grill, they get this nice kind of grill kind of taste to it. Mm-hmm. Um, really, really good. And you just go, you know, pepper, beef, Mushroom, beef, onion, beef. I always alternate with the beef. So, um, and you can do other meats. You can do chicken. You can do. You can't pork. have enough meat. Yeah, you can't have enough meat. I want beef with this because I like the beef. But you could do pork. You could do yeah. You can do whatever you want. And, and what's the update on the rest of the food here? Uh, these, are the... these are done. I yeah, think. wings are done. Let's take the wings off. Do you want uh, to put uh, the ball? Uh, the ball. The ball. Take that. Now, how are the steaks? I was just about to go check them out. I right, think I'll take ready. care of the wings. You do the steaks. Right. Connor, then, you uh, wing you that. Entertain the, the, oh, we're going to have some more. This is this is actually the most exciting show of the year for us. Oh, We'd see, like I'm, to sorry. A, get together, B, talk about comics, C, eat lots of food, D, probably too much food that we should probably be eating. And is this, guy, is this just for you guys? And E, read your emails. We like to read your emails. How are the steaks, Josh? Uh... It's hard to tell. Right. Yeah, it is hard to tell. I don't think they're on the best spot for it right now. It's kind of it's kind of not hot back there. No, it's not. Hang on. We only really have one hot spot on the whole thing. One super hot spot. Yeah. It's like a sunspot. I'm really ha- kind of happy it's not 110 degrees, to be honest with you. I'm thrilled about that. Can you put that it could be a little bit warmer, but... Special. You may have been hearing the wind, too. It's a 110 was bad. Uh, was... Ah, pepper down! I lost a red pepper. Josh, we have one more. This is the last break for food, so talk, tell us about your, bur- your yeah. dogs here. You know what I'm cooking? This is the first. This is a, a spatula, I fanboy barbecue first. Yeah, I know. Really, he's Josh, he's took it down and take a lowbrow. Yeah, no, 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 low no, brow. no. There's nothing wrong with going basic. A lot of people think they got to make things too. So I just want some hot dogs. I want a grilled hot dog. Listen, I, I, I subscribe to the anti Bourdain theory that there's nothing better than two meat in a tube. Oh, yeah. You just keep asking for things. Well, it's hard to cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, no, I just I wanted. You know, there's nothing to me. You can't beat the Whoa. grilled hot dog. I don't want a hot dog any other way than, than grilled in here. It's got that, and I like them to, to be a little, a little, well, not maybe not that well done, but pretty well done. You want them, You want a little snap to them when you bite I them. I definitely do, and I want that char. So you cut some slits into your dogs. Yeah. What yeah. do you do that for? Uh, to release, so they don't. When you cut them and bite them, they don't spray you with hot oil. But there's that's delicious hot oil. True, but it hurts. Yeah. So that's like a thing. Okay. Um, does the dog get dried out when the oil all escapes while it's cooking? Not if it's a good hot dog. It really is important to get good hot dogs, by yeah. the way. Uh, the, the Sabrats or the Hebrew Nationals or yeah, something well, like these, that. Yeah, well, these hot dogs, we, we uh, normally Hebrew National in the New York metro oh. area is one of the best ones. Um, we got some Sabrats out of the Bronx. They're good. These yeah. are the ones you get at the ballpark. But like those sort of um, store brand hot dogs, they're yeah, not as good. you don't want an Oscar Mayer in no. like the no. ballpark. Spend, spend yeah. the extra money. Yeah. That's, what it, that's, that's really the key. Yeah. Okay, so this is the final round of food. Well, let's do the final round of questions. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm, you, keep, you talk. I'm going to grab okay. it. He's going to get a drink. I'm going to drink. No, I'm getting a... Which he's getting his this, this? buns. No, the glass? Yeah. Meanwhile... My snapple. Fleming from England... Fleming. Writes in says, I live in a small village in the middle of nowhere in England. I love comics so much, but our local comic shop is an hour and a half away by train. I don't know anyone who reads, really reads comics. I've been trying to get my younger brother into comics, but he's only interested in Star Wars and Transformers comics. Whereas I am more into Marvel and stuff. I have quite a lot of friends who I think would be interested in comics if they could just get past the stereotype we have around here that comics are for kids. Any ideas on how I might do this? Do you have any trade recommendations you could give for new readers <laughs> that I could lend out to my friends? That's the whole game right there, buddy. But you know what? 
if your brother's into Star Wars and Transformers comics, that's great. That's great. You Start there. Point. Yeah, exactly. And then and then you you can go from there and say G.I. Joe. Well, well, or, or you look Horse, at those. Hellboy, you see if you can find Star Wars and Transformers comics that he likes, mm -hmm. and go from there and see who made those comics. Yeah. Like say that look at those creators and and you know if you're reading uh, Transformers comics and you really like them, uh, Mike Costa's right in there. Say, well, why don't you try this this G.I. Joe Cobra comic or. You know that artist from something else. That's one way to go. The thing is, like, it sounds to me like he wants his brother. To, what do you want? A knife. He wants to create a comic buddy. He wants. No, that's so special. He you need a knife. He wants his brother to read the comics he reads, which is not. This is not the way to go. Right. You want them to read the yeah, thing. I mean, the one thing, whenever you're like, how do I get people in the comics? You can't force it on them. They have to naturally get into it and be down with it. Yeah. Um, you know, like, it's weird because sometimes those are, those are I want to. Like a story is a story is a story, yeah. and if you like one thing, then then you should like another. But sometimes people don't get past that. You know, the, the, just because you live in a small town that's far away from a comic shop, that doesn't mean that everywhere else they don't deal with the same issue of are comics just for kids or comics yeah. not a thing. You know, reading is is a, is a challenge for people, not that they can't read. But reading like in general, getting yeah. people to read. But but the, I think the main point is if if your brother's already into reading these comics, then that's good. It's a place for no, him to okay. yeah, jumping yeah. off point. If you find other stuff that he might be interested, in, but you can't force it because then it's always just like read this, and it, 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 you don't want him to be, like resent the. Comics. You you want you want to start somewhere, mm -hmm. and then you want to you want to get to that point where they're reading other things that you want them to be reading. But and eventually, you're like, we're out of Star Wars comics, but I have this Why the Last Man comic, so why don't you try this? Right. right. It's really hot. That's what I'm saying. No, it's, it's the fennel. It's, it's so fennel. good. It's the fennel. Keep it over there. You want to get when you do sausage, you want a little bit, especially with um, that kind. You want to look with the stuff, some of the dipped tomato and basil in stuff like that. I like fennel. It's actually not that hot at all. It's Fennel's really good. Fennel's the basic sausage ingredient. Yeah, that's it's the uh, it's got the snap to those, it. Those those kebabs are coming. Those are looking good. So we're yeah, looking good. Little, oh, I didn't mention on the kebabs what, what we do. So you, you 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 stick them all on the stick. This is this. If you go for if you if you do metal skewers, be careful because those get hot. I like to go bamboo wood skewers because they're a little easier to handle. You soak the skewers in water. Yes, um, you yeah. should. Yeah, I didn't do that. I've, I've never um, actually done it because yeah. you have to do it for a really long time. But anyway, um, olive oil on top of the whole kebab, brush it on, and then Italian seasoning, um, basil, oregano, I put a little garlic on. If you want to cheat, you can just use like Italian dressing, like salad dressing. Yeah, totally. You could totally do that. You could just put Italian dressing on that. Yeah, that's, in fact, I wish I had done that actually because that sometimes is really good. But I like, you see, I let these go because the onions have got to cook. So yeah, this is the I'm final, the final round of food, final question. This is our traditional final question on the oh, show. All right. Megan from Los Angeles writes, Some of my favorite comics have either ended recently, like Jack of Fables, are on hiatus, like Buffy, or were minis, like Day Tripper. I've had far too many light weeks, and I want to leave my store on Wednesdays drunk with the excitement to read my stack. With that goal in mind, I would love to know what of each of your top five favorite books right now. Oh, oh this is the recurring... This, this, this is, uh, this I know! Exactly. You should know! We've done it on every episode! <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, top five favorite single issues right now. Serious. Who wants to go first? Josh. I saw you. I thought I saw the, word, the wheels turning in there. Scalped, Jonah Hex, Hellblazer. Uh huh. You're sort of sour on comics right now. I know. I I I've just you're in one of your down periods. I'm not down on comics. I'm down. I'm a little down on the on the on the DC Marvel event thing. Like yeah. I, I'm just not into it. That those books have not been exciting me. So I've definitely mm -hmm. been enjoying other stuff uh, that's coming along. So Detective Scalped, Jonah Hex. Detective Comics is really good. In fact. That might be my favorite superhero comic that's going on right now. Scalp, Jonah Hex, Hellblazer, Detective, one more. Uh, probably The Walking Dead. Okay. Because it's been really, yeah. really excellent lately. And, at the, and, and in two, four, five minutes, when you guys do yours, I'm going to go, oh, that! That happens every time. So, Ron, on. Do, you, do you need time? I need time. Need All right, I'll say wow. Detective, Scalped, Ultimate Spider-Man. Really good. FF. And... Um, Maybe Chew? I thought of Chew, chew. but I, I went with Walking Dead I'm over I'm going to say it. Chew. We're eating. I'm just, that's what I think of. <laughs> I, think, I, I think definitely DC's in a down period. A lot In the past, you know, I had more DC books in my top five, but I think DC's in a creative mm -hmm. slump right now. There's a lot of good stuff happening at Marvel. I think the best two are FF and Spider-Man with those books. Although X-Force is close, but I wouldn't put it. The art changes are to take it out of the top five. All right. I'm going to go with... I'm getting really... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm getting really... Uh, Marvel isolationist. Yeah, you I are. Have noticed noticed. That? Yeah, yes. have you noticed that? Like uh, DC, just like you know, I really wish that Green Lantern or Flash were doing it for me like they had yeah. previous years, but they're not. Um, You're back to Marvel zombiehood. I am. So that said, what about indie stuff? Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to think. Okay, so that said, okay, here's my top five. 
Our top five, the top five comics that what I get, I'm the most excited about. That's how I gauge it. Okay. Ready? Um, Uncanny X Force. Mm-hmm. Remender's killing it, and I'm okay with the art stuff. Um, it's I, it's something magical is happening in that book. Um, Uncanny X Men. Kieran Gillen writing it. Totally. We're only two issues in, and I'm loving it. And it's you know my flagship kind of book. Um, I can't decide between Avengers and New Avengers. I want to say maybe Avengers. I still get excited about Avengers. Yeah, I, I, that, that's close to being in the top five for yeah. me. Yeah, are we? Are we? Are we not? Or, there's one more. Go ahead. And finish no, the last I got four more. I got two more. Oh. I got two more. Hulk? No, Hulk. No, I mean Hulk. Hulk was great, but I mean, I, but Gabe Hardman's leaving. Uncanny so. X Force. Uncanny, Uncanny. Yeah. Avengers and um, Ultimate Spider-Man. Well, well, I mean, I love it, but now Lafuente's gone. Don't get me wrong, I love Pacelli, but with the changes, I mean, I love Pacelli. Yeah. yeah, I think she's fantastic. Um. I'm looking at an image. Like, non-player is beautiful, but there was one issue. I can't really get, Invincible? Can't really get behind it. Invincible is consistently good, but it doesn't it hasn't got me excited. Chew. Um, Chew's all right, but it ha- again, it hasn't got me like, oh my god, this is amazing. I still think Chew's the most inventive book out there. Oh, Echo. Oh, it, Echo. Echo. But, Always, but that's about the end, though. But, but still, it's, it's still going on. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's all right. It's still, it's, it's still coming out. Echo. And then uh, Glamorous. Love Glamorous. Every Dave Sim, genius, love it. Every When an issue comes out, it's an event for me. So... He is. You're, you're, it's interesting. The because um, I, I, I'm, I'm, he's reading less DC stuff. I'm reading less indie stuff in single issues. I'm, yeah. I'm still converting more and more to trades. Yeah, this is about. Oh. This is what. Uh, everything that's happening in BPRD right now is a hell of a lot oh. of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I might, I might, I might sub them in. But For it, what? It's like it's hard to name a title because they don't. It's always different. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which is BPRD? That's really BPRD. So scalp. You get scalped at Jonah Hex, you get detective. I would switch out Jonah Hex for that because Jonah Hex is really good and the way that he just talked about Ultimate Spider Man, yeah. like I love it. Yeah. It's always good, but it doesn't progress. Right. And I really like I like story progression. Like that's the re- like an ongoing story and mm-hmm. that's what BPRD is, a really long novel that doesn't seem to quite you know, it's it's gonna end at some point. Um, right. but I definitely and, and those books all kinda go together. Like it's it's hard to And this is a tough time right now specifically on image. I'm a big image fan, but they've just put out a whole bunch of number ones. Yeah, it's hard to say and what's it's gonna be. It's hard good. to say like, oh my god, this is the new Oh, who is Jake Ellis is really close. I mean I don't know if that if that's in my top five. Yeah. That's like that's like maybe six or seven. But hey, then, there's nothing wrong with being in the top ten. Yeah, nothing wrong. Yeah, that's really the top Considering five. how many books we buy. Yeah. Always let your meat rest. Don't cut in it right away. It, all the juices will run out, and then it'll be tough and awful. Yeah. So that, that was our last question. What's the update on the end of the meat here? How are the hot dogs? I think they're just about done. I like them. They're they're kind of brown. I'm gonna let them go a little longer. Uh, these I'm the trying. kebabs. The kebabs are rolling around. I'm, I'm they let, look good. I'm, I'm, they look great. I'm letting the the onions cook a little more. Yeah. So. And the steaks. We that think steak they're done. That steak was done. This one is a little thicker and heavier, so I, I think it'll be done very soon. So we're, we're doing good. So we have actually. a good haul here. This is nice. We're gonna we're gonna eat very well. So we have like four people coming over, right? That's no, it's just us. Oh, it's just, just you us. guys. Just us. Fair enough. So no more questions. So this is it for questions. This All is right. it for the summer barbecue extravaganza. Yep. Um, thanks for writing in. Email contact at fanboy.com if you want to write in for more questions. We take them all throughout the year. We do them on the show every week. But yeah. we like to get together and do this barbecue the audio show. show. Yeah. The audio show and the. Uh, Sometimes in the show, but Sometimes usually the audio show. show. They, they come up every week in the audio show. Go to iFanboy.com. That's where you can find out that you can listen to the audio show, listen to the Don't Miss audio podcast. The Word Balloon is there. Uh, all great writing throughout the day. Marvel, DC, Image, Vertigo, Dark Horse, whatever you like, we've got something there for you. So go to iFanboy.com. You can become a member. Go to iFanboy.com slash store. You can sign up for a membership. Get cool stuff, free stuff in the mail, and get giveaways and all the fun, cool stuff and, like and, that. And, you know, directly support the, yes. the, the entertainment that you are currently enjoying. Yes. How do they find us online, Josh? You can go to uh, uh, twitter.com slash ifanboy. We update all the stuff that we're doing there. You can know what's going on. And you can go to facebook.com slash ifanboy, um, which does the same thing. So it's really your preference and yes. how you'd like your social where networking you live, to be Where delivered. you live online. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. You can do both. It's yeah. fine. So fan us, friend us, follow us, all that I like, stuff. I like that. That's, that's like fan a tagline. Us. Wow, look at you. Fan us, friend us, follow us. There you go. I'm really hungry. Yeah, I am too. So let's eat. So uh, thanks again. Thanks again for another great year, another good summer. Hopefully we'll see you next summer. Yeah.